I suppose I'll choose myself. Uh, let's send 150 peasants. All of the slave soldiers, all of the soldiers. The knights are maybe a bit too uh, important. Uh, uh, they, well, I can't risk losing uh, too too many knights. The bandits, I suppose uh, we need to uh, try to win this at least. Whew. Okay, we, we might very well win. Yeah. Okay, so who was favored? I th th think the slave soldiers still came first. I'm not sure. Your men have defeated the garrison of the black market, thus ending it. It is bandit rule and uh, leaving the place to your whim. Your men ho hoist up the flag of Aslone to make your rule official. And now return to the market and decide who, how you will deal with it. Or you could leave it uh, in uncertainty. Okay, let's go visit the black market. Uh, the black market belongs to Aslone now. Your men hold it in your name uh, while they avo await your orders. For now business has almost halted. Some flee the market while the rest anxiously await your judgment. So I can put a trade levy close to the black market down, sack the black market, or ask for advice. <laughs> well, I'm going to decide for myself. Put, let's put a trade levy, I mean. I, it is a, a good place to have... A, a, have a standing. Uh, you say the word and the market is completely under your control now. Now you have taken black market. Uh, uh, you may want to do a number of things such as installing a garrison here, giving a speech or hiring someone to give one on your behalf and taking a tour of the market. Let's uh, give a speech. We could get the best cry around, around to give a speech. We have the money. You pay the gold and ha have a best local crier to come for forward to give a, a speech on your behalf. The crier steps forward and a large crowd from the market gathers to hear what their new leader has to say. Uh, the crier grins and f says, Friends, fellow dwellers of this market, in our history of our leaders have been bandit uh, cutthroats or evil wizards. Times of terror, violence and fear reign supreme. Those times are gone. We existed on the fringe of Aslona, but now we are to become part of it and benefit from it its strength and uh, structure. If we uh, work together work well and play our cards right, we will surely see a new golden age. Fear not, my friends, our time has come. Uh, the crowd bursts into an immer immense uh, cheer and the people celebrate. The black market economy will be boosted for the next uh, six years. Twenty-six uh, people join your new black market garrison. I suppose I should probably uh, station some soldiers here. Uh, let's say uh, 200. Uh, so I've, I'm not sure if I've uh, ever been attacked, uh, if these places have ever been attacked, but uh, 200, I think uh, so so somewhere it said that that is a... Uh, an amount of so soldiers that is going to be difficult to topple uh, for the AI or b bandits. Uh, I'm not going to have a tour. Uh, you can have the tour yours. 
I don't know. I'll be your tour guide if anything. Uh, one of the things I probably want to do fairly soon is the upgrade to the black market will uh, start getting some more in income from here like that uh, but for now I think we can uh, manage the rules though uh, ban goblins from the black market I'm not sure what uh, that will really do for us uh, we could ban slavery in the slums. Uh, it will decrease the slums income. If they are already called the slums, then uh, you'd think that slaves in the slums will be even worse off. So that, that doesn't sound like, like a a very uh, high standard of living. Uh, we have been uh, uh, allowing slavery for necessity uh, and because a slow uh, a slow and a pro I'm, go I'm going to say that, that we at least give some kind of living standards but uh, I th think if we are going to ban sl slavery somewhere, then this would be a, a good place to start. Uh, one important thing I want to uh, do here is stop allowing bandit groups to hire mercenaries from the market. Yeah. Uh, okay, then. Uh, zero chances to explore now. This. Let's visit the throne room, sure. You are told that there is a small line of 14 people waiting to see you. <laughs> you are visited by a townsman who has b b brought you a small present to celebrate. Give me money! Uh, you are visited by a young man, a young boy uh, who stands with his arm, hands out, waiting. Uh, let's give him ten coins. The young boy's eyes widen. He takes the bag of gold and looks inside it before running away with a huge grin on his face. Yeah. Uh, the public opinion, I don't feel like it makes a huge difference, but still I don't don't want to be the world's most hated ruler of all time. Uh, you are visited by a townsman who has brought uh, you a present to celebrate. Give me money, 96 go gold to 15 gold, a great present. Uh, a little gift. An old man uh, visits us, uh, asking uh, us if uh, we could spare a few coins as the man ca cannot eat. Uh, 60 gold coins isn't too much, sure. The old man smiles and bows to, to you and then says, Bless you, bless you with all my heart, uh, my king. Uh, you are visited by a... And what kind of hat is that? <laughs> I mean... It kind of reminds me of uh, an emoji. <laughs> w whatever, I, I'll just leave it at that. You are visited... Yeah, yeah a present. 74 gold. Uh, 89 gold. Uh, you are visited by a cavern vampire from the uh, cavern white dynasty, dynasty carrying uh, the message that 
Atabeg Sazel, the unwashed, is parading mice around the streets in recognition of the Give Me Money celebration. <laughs> you will step on them all. The mice are the vampires. Anyway, uh, interesting, the vampires are celebrating our celebration. Well, I'm taken aback by this a little bit. Uh, the cavern vampire from the cavern white dynasty di dynasty lives happy. Your relation with the cavern white dynasty has improved a little. Uh, well, they they were a little bit on the fence. M maybe I'll maybe I'll put a consider here. They still sacrifice a quarter of their population when the their leader has died, but. We'll see, we'll see. That, that was pretty nice of them, to, let's be honest. Uh, a gift of me, uh, give, me, give me money. Uh, allow the old fame tonight to quest for my honor. To get the good deeds done. Oh, I've been on a thousand quests before. This will be nothing to me. Uh, maybe I'll slay a pack of dragons or crush a city of giants. Okay. Uh, you are visited by a rough-looking le uh, man leading a group of 18 pit fighters. No time for pit fighting when we've got a demonic army at our door. Will you have us? Uh, sure. So it does have a bit of a benefit to that we have a, a demon horde on our doorsteps, but uh, yeah, I doubt it uh, uh, outweighs the cons. The man nods to you and orders his band of 18 men to join the ranks. Uh, yeah, I'll accept even the uh, tiniest of gifts. Uh, Let's see our next. We probably want to uh, use our mercenaries. We have 629 uh, principled mace incarnates on uh, this uh, here. Uh, let's provide with you with 30 more, sure. Uh, attack. Uh, pro probably some kind of a, a minor uh, bandit group, actually. We have... Uh, well, we didn't really check well, what the uh, the new ones are about. Or about. By the way, do we have any other uh, good... Uh, any new good... Uh, ones no, not really looking like it uh, not really let's look uh, at our key no 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 that it, it would be under kingdom reports who has the well, what are we looking at here royal vanquishers sounds like a pretty Nice one. Gold Possum Vagrants also. Let's... The Royal Vanquishers and the Gold Possum Vagrants are the two we will be attacking then. Invade their lands. Even though it is a pretty tough fight, actually. 27 died of our... That does uh, lower the general bandit level in the realm. That is very nice, very nice indeed. Congratulations, my king. The royal van vanquishers have been crushed. A few of their peasant prisoners have uh, rallied to your cause. Uh, there is something I want to look at, though. Uh, something else. I wanted to see if we lost a relation with uh, Bandit Horde. We didn't. I pr do believe it was minus 10. Uh, can we 
Can we have a piece with you? Uh, let's send our diplomat. Um, is our diplomat a? Uh, is is it a volunteer? Yes, it is a volunteer. I probably don't want to uh, uh, send send a volunteer one. Uh, because there, there's a chance they might get killed. I mean, instead going to uh, send. I mean, if it was highest success, then uh, then I would uh, send it. Send them, but I'll instead send a knight. Your emissary carries your request for peace and is met by the bandit ruler Fenor, who says, "You can have peace if you are willing to pay." Eighteen thousand ninety gold. Uh, that might not, not be entirely unreasonable. Um, we will uh, not be uh, not have our uh, troops ki killed by this huge ba bandit horde uh, all the time if we uh, pay up pay off uh, I'm a actually ki kind of feeling like uh, doing that I mean, we have the money what else would we do with the money? Uh, we could uh, hire more troops. So that is uh, a pretty important thing as well. But uh, let's just pay them. Plus three public opinion for peace. I don't want to be fighting uh, too many wars at the same time. I mean, Free gold and we didn't even have to raid for it. Yeah, well, uh, how about the rebels? It's go going to be a bit more than that. Uh, not really realistic, let's say. We still have a th about 30,000 gold remaining. We, I feel like uh, I'm going to do something else. Uh, is our... We have the militia councils chambers. I, I wanted to check that for some reason. Uh, okay, the other faction here I wanted to attack was uh, Gold Possum Vagrants. Let's invade their lands. It is uh, going to be a tough fight again, but let's crush them anyway. 18 of our people died. 100 peasants from that. A large group of their peasant prisoners have rallied to your cause. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see here. What else? Pro probably I am going to want to uh, recruit some troops, but also... I wanted to, to kind of see well, what the uh, what the current report on the general bandit situation is like. It is now infested. Uh, the realm is nearly completely overrun with bandits and outlaws. All across the realm, uh, powerful g groups operate with impunity. At least it is not at that... Uh, Completely infested level, I think that was. Uh, yeah, pretty bad effects, probably still. Okay, let's take a look at uh, whom we might want to attack. So, the. Uh, wh wh what's this called? The Clarence Scouts. They have. Uh, Nine, 
Nein, 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 nein. Uh, sure. <laughs> Not quite that many, but uh, still. Uh, then there's uh, the United Meadow tribe. They, their stats are also, they have two total lands. Let's uh, also have that there. How about uh, the lands of the Clarence Scouts? They have still their five lands. How about the r runic Viber, Viber Front? They have one land. We could get the uh, bandit uh, uh, situation better uh, if we uh, attacked them, but also 60,000, uh, almost 61,000 uh, battle score per uh, land is nothing to uh, sneeze at or whatever. They will put up a fight. They will. 